वेलकम बैक गाइस यू आर वाचिंग ब्रदर्स टुगेदर आई हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड द एनालिसिस ऑफ द चैप्टर वाइज वेटेज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन व्हेन इट कम्स टू द मैथमेटिक्स एंड द केमिस्ट्री पार्ट ऑफ योर अपकमिंग केसी 2023 एग्जाम एंड नाउ इट इज टाइम फॉर द एनालिसिस ऑफ द फिजिक्स पार्ट सो व्हाट आर द चैप्टर्स व्हिच कंटेन हाई वेटेज एंड हाउ डिड आई यूज दिस चैप्टर वाइज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन और दिस Uh, weightage distribution chart in order to prepare in my last 20 days i'll be discussing many things like this so watch the video till the end guys cause uh, in the middle i'll be discussing some important things which you have to keep in mind while you prepare physics if you haven't subscribed it or if you are new to our channel then immediately click on the subscribe button guys cause you will definitely need this channel in these last 20 days and even further after your exam too cause i'll be uploading many videos regarding how did i tackle this last 20 days and what was the thing which i did in in order to uh, reach that below 2.5k mark and which books did i refer in these 20 days i have been planning of many videos like that everything will be uploaded very soon guys so in order to never miss out on that just click on the notifications button and set it to all so that you will be the one who will be notified as soon as i upload any kind of new video guys yeah with that note yeah let's start this video with yeah us. the uh, chapter wise distribution uh, or the chapter wise weightage of all the chapters when it comes to physics part has been displayed on the screen yeah when i go through it you can just go through it so in physics there are a very less chapters which contain a lot of weightage so around 40% of the chapters contain uh, 80% of the weightage so that is where the smart work comes into picture i have been talking about this smart work smart work in my previous videos also because in uh, when there are very less days that, that is when there are 20 days left for your exam then hard work doesn't have uh, that time so uh, you need to uh, do smart work in order to have an edge over those people who are working hard now itself yeah uh dynamics when it comes to dynamics or the kinematics and uh, statics and dynamics when it comes to statics it will be uh, the kinematics part of it and when it comes to dynamics uh, it will be the motion part of it and it will contain that forces and laws of motion these things will be coming under the dynamics part and fluid dynamics that is the mechanical properties of fluids these chapters are very easy they are they can be dealt uh, very fast cause the those chapters are formula based and when you know the formulas and when you know the relations what is directly proportional to what and what is inversely proportional to what and then when it comes to kinematics some certain formulas of motion yeah these things if you keep in mind you are sorted with these chapters and then in order to check your preparation in order to give yourself some confidence solve some previous year questions there will be direct questions there will be direct questions in which they will be providing values and you have to just substitute them to the uh, necessary equations and you will be arriving to the answer and when it comes to uh, the directly proportional inversely proportional thing you should be knowing what is directly proportional to what so that you can directly apply in the uh, questions when it come yeah next uh, the thing which is catching my mind is uh, the electrostatics part yes guys just go through that so i am very much elated cause it contains 9 marks out of the 60 marks which come in physics so when 9 marks if you deal two chapters electric charges and fields and electrostatic potential and capacity when you deal these two chapters you are done with around 9 marks which is 1 by 6th of uh, the total 60 questions which come so this is where you have to uh, analyze this thing and you have to keep in mind that electrostatics should be your first priority because uh, for the board exam however you you would have studied electrostatics well itself but still again just revise things and just apply those in the previous year questions then you will be sorted guys Yeah, electrostatics when it comes to electrostatics gauss law is an important thing just go through it correctly and understand the concept once you understand gauss law then all the problems which come based on it can be solved easily and then uh, in electrostatic potential and capacitance you should know what capacitance is capacitance of uh, certain uh, standard capacitors spherical capacitors parallel plate capacitors these things you should just know and then when it comes to potential then you should be understanding how to find the electrostatic potential at a point with respect to their potential at infinity yeah these things uh, are just a flashback for me yeah these things when you keep in mind this electrostatics thing is sorted understand uh, the concept try to understand the concept of charges and fields and you will be sorted guys don't just uh, start mugging up stuff this electrostatics is a pretty easy thing and uh, there is a video which i referred for electrostatics i'll be sharing it in the comments uh, i'll be sharing it in the description so it is not any kind of promotion but i like that video personally so i'm sharing it for you guys so that it will be a benefit for you so when you finish off electric electrostatics and 1 by 6th of the thing is done so when you go through the number of chapters it will be very high but two chapters when you are done when it uh, puts you in a position wherein you have completed 1/6th of the part then you may understand how important it is so then you are in the same line when you come when you finish off electrostatics you will be in a position to complete current electricity when you complete this you will be in a position to complete magnetic effects then electromagnetic induction 
all these chapters come in a series and when you uh, start preparing seriously for all these chapters when uh, you go through the weightage which has been displayed you can go through that 9 plus 6 plus 6 around 17 plus 3 20 marks you are getting from this part of uh, uh, I mean the first part of your 12th class syllabus yeah guys this is pretty much easy itself everything contains this also a lot of uh, formula based thing and how to calculate fields magnetic field and then uh, force due to a current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field yeah these are things which you have to keep in mind and you have to prepare seriously so that you will be uh, sorted with uh, an extra 20 marks so this will put you in a great position guys so now if you understand the part of that uh, the 12th part itself the 12th syllabus itself contains a lot of weightage then the thing which has uh, fixed in your mind that I have not prepared my 11th seriously just take it off guys even if you haven't done your 11th correctly even if you haven't done justice to your 11th portion of your uh, KCT syllabus even then you can do well in physics trust me you can if you don't trust me you can go through this uh, the chapter wise analysis which I have been displaying here so there only you will get an idea of how to deal the chapters and then Modern physics is the easiest chapter guys according to me so even if you are facing any difficulty trust me that modern physics is the easiest thing if you understand the relations understand what is directly proportional to what and directly proportional to 1 by r square 1 by r cube so these are things these are very uh, bonus kind of questions guys cause these require very less time and they are uh, high in number too around 5 questions and 6 questions have been asked in modern physics in 2018 and 2019 respectively and you can expect around five questions from this modern physics part so prepare it diligently and uh, understand the relations and you are done with modern physics too so in this way if you uh, prepare an analysis and if you prepare a chart for your own uh, routine itself and if you start preparing according to it then you will be sorted guys then you will be easily crossing that 45 to 50 mark in physics which will be more than enough trust me if you score around 45 to 50 then you will be in a highly uh, good position uh, this was it guys so i just went through the high weightage chapters but that doesn't mean that you should leave off all the other chapters Tre treat them equally but when it comes to priority just then uh, prioritize these chapters which contain high weightage that is one thing i have been telling you in all the analysis videos of chemistry and mathematics too yeah, uh, when you do that, you'll be in, in a good position. You'll you'll give confidence to yourself. That is re highly important, guys. Even if a person X studies everything and he doesn't have confidence in him, and a person Y who is a subscriber of Brothers Together, who is a part of the community of Brothers Together, does smart work and he is confident of himself, then the person Y will definitely succeed, guys. So that is uh, the secret to success in KCT. So uh, having confidence in yourself is really important. So these twenty days give it your best shot because this 20 days doesn't come again in your life yeah with that note i hope all of you will understand the importance of these high weightage chapters in physics and prepare for them diligently from today itself by preparing a priority list of chapters which you have to deal first and the chapters which you have to deal next as you did for chemistry and mathematics and if you do like this you trust me guys you will only be telling me that this this one worked bro yeah that is one thing which will give me a lot of satisfaction I enjoyed a lot while I shared this uh, weightage analysis and I shared my experience of this physics part and and, uh, and all the things which I discussed in this video guys. If you did the same then immediately click on the like button so that that will give me some motivation to upload same kind of videos in the coming future. And in the same line if you have any doubts any kind of doubts when it comes to KCET then feel free to put it on the comment section or else feel free to message me personally through my Instagram handle so that I can help you out there. Yeah, and even if you have any uh, suggestions for the upcoming videos, then feel free to put it on the comment section so that I'll be going through them and I'll be thinking of what can be done regarding it. Yes, guys, so this was it for this video. I'll be coming up with many videos like this. So uh, subscribe to our channel to never miss out on that. Yeah, with that note, this is Darshan Eskoda signing off and we are brothers together. Thank you, guys. Thank you. We'll meet in the next video. Bye.